hello and welcome back to my channel I'm JC and today I'm gonna talk to you about refilling the creative well um, I have to give credit for the idea to Marissa Moe I was reading a blog post of hers um, about I'm not I can't repeat the exact title of the post but it was basically about the things that you can do to be more productive in your writing and one of the tips was that you need to refill your creative well um, kind of like when you when you're stuck or when you hit a rough patch in your story or you even come up on writer's block there are gonna be times that you just need to um, take a break take a step back and refill the creative well get some inspiration I'm gonna link um, the blog, her blog post, her blog site, and um, I'm also going to link her channel in the description box below. Awesome channel. Um, her blog post is awesome. If you haven't signed up for her newsletter that she sends out every Saturday, you're really missing out because um, it, it's awesome. Uh, just like her. So here are my seven things that you can do to refill your creative well. Number one, brainstorm your story with a friend. Um, if you have a critique partner, that would probably be the person that you would brainstorm your story with. I don't currently have a critique partner. I'm looking for one, so if anyone wants to be a critique partner with me, that would be great. But um, I have a friend, um, she's not a writer per se, but she's an avid reader and I always kind of talk some of my stories, story ideas through with her and she always gives me great feedback, great ideas, um, great diff different angles to look at things and um, I, she sees things from a, a perspective of just being a reader, not someone who writes at all. So I, sometimes I like to get her input, um, some ideas and, and just kind of touch base with her on a story idea. Um, um, that's only usually when I get stuck like I currently am uh, number two read something and I don't mean necessarily for research um, I mean for fun read mystery or fantasy or horror or whatever you're into just take some time and read something I, I believe um, Stephen King said you, you can't be a good writer if you're not also a good reader and I, I really believe that I know some people don't necessarily like Stephen King's advice but that's one of the things that I, I think is, is really good advice and if you you not reading then I, I just don't understand how you can be a developed writer if you're not also reading but that, that's just me personally number three watch TV Netflix Hulu HBO um, whatever network or streaming device you're into whatever show you're into um, just watch TV if, if you want to watch a movies for a full day do that I personally I love the Hallmark Channel also that, that that's one of them um, I personally get so much inspiration and from inspiration excuse me from watching TV um, some people think I watch TV a little bit too much but it's a lot of my inspiration comes from there um, I get ideas from stories that don't even have anything to do with what I just watched but something on there sparked a completely different idea for a totally different story and I just I don't know how people I've heard some writers say that they don't watch television at all I don't get that personally I what's even stranger to me is TV writers who don't watch TV but that's that, that's for a whole nother video um, but right now I'm currently watching little fires everywhere because I'm catching up on it um, I just watched the how to get away with, with murder series finale which was phenomenal uh, probably the best series wrap up I've seen in a very very long time they left no questions unanswered um, they they touched on everything. They made sure you you got a final ending. Like it it wasn't like okay just in the air, and I don't know what this means. It, 
they wrapped up everything and they did it perfectly one of the most excellent shows written i mean it's the shonda land show so is there any surprise but that tv movies tons of inspiration number four step outside now i'm not a nature person anyone who really knows me knows i i don't like I'm not the person that's gonna go for a walk outside or go for, you know, I, I don't like nature, bugs, birds chirping. It's lovely from indoors. I, I like looking out at the out the window at the nature. I don't like being in nature. I will go as far as sitting in my car with the windows down. That that's but sometimes sitting in my car or going for a drive, I consider that getting outside in nature, right? Going for a drive, which in the time we're in right now, it's kind of hard to go for walks and stuff, and you, it's kind of hard to know what you can and can't do right now safely. But before Corona, I, I would sometimes just go for a drive in my car. Um, not that not to be far, but just to work through a story idea in my head in the car sometimes with the radio on sometimes with the radio off and just kind of um sounds crazy but talk to my characters or they would talk to me whichever way it went but um if you are a nature person go for a hike go for a walk safely of course um go for a run if that's your thing um i totally appreciate runners i, I can't do that number five go exercise um sounds like it's connected to number four but it's not number four I, I meant go outside um you know just to experience nature to maybe infuse some of the that into your your um thought process as far as getting your ideas fleshed out but exercise physical exercise is great inspiration um i've work through many a story in my head in the gym I don't like walking outside but I will walk on the treadmill in the gym um, or, or the elliptical or the Stairmaster which I so lovingly refer to as the beast um, yeah I love going to the gym and working through a story in, in my head that way and getting some of course now during the pandemic um, it's more like Tabo in the living room or you know some other kind of workout video but or yoga with adrian who's also on youtube really good channel to check out um but yeah exercise physical exercise is great number six listen to music music is a wonderful inspiration i know people um tend to write to music a lot um they develop music playlists for their stories but sometimes you just need to sit and listen to some music put some music on for a day and maybe dance around the house or just you know listen to the words of the song and or the melodies and sometimes that's what i also do sitting in my car is just listen to music um it's great working through things that way as well um Number seven, um, reading author interviews is something that I, I like to do for inspiration. I know I said earlier to read for fun, but I also like to read other authors' um, process, their writing process. It's probably why I like to do author interviews in my online magazine. Um, I just like discussing other writers processes and the way they work out story ideas and the the things that give them inspiration and how they got their start their story um I, that stuff kind of fuels my creativity and gives me you know, inspiration as well i love the writer magazine um and the writer's digest magazine i love all of the the um articles of how to improve your writing um, how to be more productive in your writing that kind of stuff like when I'm really struggling for inspiration um, I usually don't go to those unless I'm completely blocked like I just don't have anything any idea um, 
that that's usually when I, I turn to to that those ideas so um that's it for me I hope that some of these tips will work for you if you are needing to refill your creative well and to to kind of get some more creative inspiration for your stories or if you just you know just need a minute take take a break watch some tv read a book um hopefully some of these ideas will work for you and if you try any and they do work please let me know in the comments um if you have any other tips or ideas that that work for you that i might want to try leave those in the comments as well um if you like and anything you've heard in this video today and would like to see more of my videos like and hit the like and subscribe button and um that's it for me today and i'll see you in my next video bye